Hello so guys, today I'm going to review the Razer Viper Ultimate and this is just a wireless and that's just it. So the original, I don't know if there's like a lot of difference between them, but I don't think there's like a lot of difference, but this just got like the wireless connection and it's hyper speed. It got 20k DPI optical and some Razer Chroma RGB. It's pretty cool, but you need to download like that uh, application or software so you can just change the lights and things like that. But I honestly like green, so I'm gonna keep it like this. And there's like Razer optical mouse switch, a five on board memory profiles. And this only weighs about 74 grams. That's just a pretty lightweight actually. And let's go on here. And this is what you need. A PC with a free USB port. Um, Windows 7 or higher, internet connection for software installation and here are the sizes and the weights so let's go on here like you see 25% uh, faster so they say that this is one of the fastest mouse actually made uh, I don't know about that but maybe it's true it got about like 17 hours of battery life that's pretty great for gaming um, 20k DPI ultra fast hyper speed yeah i know that so razor optical mouse switch five on board memory profiles and a mouse dock so on the last side i don't see any other things it's just like a quote from a gamer so let's go ahead and open this up So guys, I actually didn't know this, but what you can do is this is magnetic, so it's pretty cool, like you can just snap it. I, I just find that really cool actually. So let's just open this up. Okay, and now here we got the stuff. So we got the razor dock and stuff like that, and let's first off get the mouse out so we got this out you got some plastic on the back mm, it's it looks pretty cool so let's go on here 20k dpi um gaming mouse and some other stuff and here's the battery And this got like a rubber finish, like you see, guys. It's pretty cool. And let's go ahead and get this out. Oh, here we go. So if you guys hear something in the background, like music or something, it's my headset. I was playing some Apex and some uh, Modern Warfare, so that's why. So let's get this out. Once we open this up, uh, you will get this. Pretty cool. And now we here we got the cables. All right. Now let's get this on. And this is more like the how to set this up and stuff like that it looks pretty easy to me 
so you can always pause the video if you want to guys and i i'm also gonna make a video after a month using this product and see if it's pretty good or not and i'm gonna give you some tips guys while using this product after like a month I still have like a lot a lot to learn and like I want to use this product for like a month or two maybe and see if it's worth it and some tips that I can give you. So this is just a sticker that you can just free to get. And now let's go ahead and set this up. So, if you open this up guys, you will get the USB. Here we got it. And this goes into your computer, so <coughs> you can connect like wirelessly. And let's do that. So now the only thing what you need to do is just open it up and you should see like a green light and the RGB should start blinking. Pretty cool. So after trying it out, I noticed that it actually changes like color, I think about like every 10 seconds. It's pretty cool. So let's see it out. I think I need to change the sensitivity like, let's try it out like this. Yeah, I think I need to change that. So let's go to settings. So I got this one. And this is the dock, I think. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this. So the little piece of this one just goes in the little port. So, and the other side just goes into my computer to charge, just charge it up, the USB. I'm just going to get it like on the behind of my computer. And I'm going to do it like that. So to be honest, I don't really know what this is for for i think if you are like traveling or um, if you are like going somewhere else and you just get the usb inside of it and you just travel or something like that so if you guys know what it is just leave it in the comments down below because i just don't really know what this is for and let's just go so guys after making the video i just noticed that you can also plug this in into your dock so you don't take much space on your pc and it's gonna be a lot better so that's just to connect your mouse also you can just do it on here it's gonna be a lot better guys you can also still charge it there's no problem like you see and that was just it i just noticed just after making this video by the way guys, please don't ask me why I'm using this Apple Magic Keyboard mouse on this computer. Um, it was just to test it out. And I also, I just didn't open my uh, new Corsair wireless keyboard. So I'm also going to do that. It's the K57. I'm going to do that in another video. So guys, I actually didn't know this, but like this has some RGB lights. I really didn't know even that this had like RGB lights. So if you want to charge this guys, just go ahead and plug it like this. You see the three, two uh, charging ports. And here you go. And what I heard was if your battery is like pretty low, it's most likely red. And if it's like uh, low, but not that low, it's orange and then it goes all up to green and green means that it's all the way full so that's what i heard so the reason why i bought a razer 
wireless mouse is because it's a lot better to have no cables at all on your desk so once you have like cables it's pretty annoying sometimes it sometimes can get like stuck or sometimes it's harder to like go to the other side because of your cable and it's like pressing it uh, or just forcing it to the other way so that's a reason why i did that it looks pretty great on my desk too i like razor itself so with my um msi monitors So my desk, I mean, my setup is still not complete. I need to receive some stuff. I bought some stuff and I need to like um, set that up. So there is like a Bluetooth adapter 5.0 and some extra stuff that I need. So once I set this up, I actually noticed that I got this. So once you click on next, you will get all of these things and you can set it up, the RGB lights and a lot more stuff. It's pretty cool. And you have to install it. So let's wait for that. So guys, after creating my email, I mean my account itself, I finally downloaded it. And what you can do is you can just go to the website, just search up Razer Downloads, and then these three things will pop out. Uh, I downloaded all of them, but you just only want like Razer um, 3, I don't know how to pronounce that. And then you will get this. So this is uh, how you can like um, change the color of your devices your Razer mouse dock and your Razer Viper Ultimate. So just click on it and like you see, you have a lot of options what you can do. And you can also make it like left-handed or right-handed and you can also change some other stuff. You can always see the profiles from here. Like you can see the profiles. And also what you also can do, I find that pretty cool. It says like the battery life, I mean the battery itself so you can see if it's dead or not but you can always notice that if it's blinking uh like if it starts blinking red it means that your battery is really low and you have to go ahead and use this dock so let's find out on the lighting so like you see there's some a lot of lighting like you see on here This is actually the first time that I'm using this um, Razer program. So let me let so you can see, guys. I think I'm going to go with the wheel. Oh, you can like select it, what you want. Okay. Like this is my first time using this guys, so I don't really know. So let's do next. Oh, it shows. So let's go back. Okay, let's show you guys from the beginning. You can actually change the name also. Pretty cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right.
Let's go next. Okay, it has like a lot of options. I see. I'm changing the color. Okay. Um, so that's it. And you can go ahead and save it. So guys, this is the video. I'm gonna review the product again after using it for a month and see what problems I go through or what happens and things like that. So I'm gonna remove this mouse, I mean this keyboard. This is pretty annoying and it looks pretty funny actually. It's from my Apple itself. And I had to use this one because I got rid of my old keyboard and now I bought this one and I still need to open this one and review it. So let's go, please leave a like and subscribe and thank you so much guys take care of yourself goodbye